Ohio has 12 wins on the season now and two in Mid-American Conference play after a convincing 71-51 win over the Ball State Cardinals on Wednesday night at the Convo. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Yeah, Ohio is up by seven at halftime, Rob C., but they extended and separated fairly early on in the second half. Yeah, nice first half. T.J. Hall, Travis Wilkins kept the boat afloat first half, but Maurice Sindor out of the gate in the second. A bunch of points in a row to start the second half. Extend this thing to the teens and on to 20 at the end. Three and double figures for the Bobcats. Endor, T.J. Hall and Travis Wilkins. Yeah, a lot of fouls, not a lot of pace, a lot of new combinations of guys on the floor tonight. Yeah, it was a good one for the Cats as they won another one at home. That's 46 wins in the convo over the last 51 games in this building. Here's how it looked and sounded. House of cards. Setti at the head of the key. Flips it down low, Endor. Back to the bucket. One dribble, power dunk with two hands. Goes behind a screen from Endor. Hall high on the right, he'll deck it, glide into the paint, right hand push, yes. Somebody's got to get to the rim, and T.J. Hall did there, and Ohio's up two. Low can't, up to the point, Kellogg behind a screen from Campbell. Flip it to the screener, Campbell for a two-hand dunk. Throw good, we're tied at 12. Willis throws up to the point, it is Hall. Drives right of the paint, banking shot, yes. T.J. Hall showed some assertiveness here. For now down low, it's Willis off of the feed from high on the right side from Wilkins, and Ohio is on top by six, 21-15. Timeline Taylor back over to the right sideline. Wilkins, ball fake, now will drive into the paint, to the goal, left hand layup, yes! Yep, he had one of his best games here last year against Ohio. Endor, baseline left jumper, yes sir. A little string music from about 15 feet away. Jerseys, Nike shoes. Turner splits two, gets low block left, all the way into the post, shot blocked away, Calhoun shot was redirected, Hall went up there, outlet Taylor, middle of the floor, drives all the way, foul line, lane goal, flipped it up and in, a little teardrop, tickle that twine, Cats on top by 11, you always double down on 11, drives left to the paint, skips into the lane, right side Willis for three, bang! Ohio's third made three of the night. So an impressive final 20 minutes for the Bobcats, Rob C. And you now head off to DeKalb, Illinois, where it is generally cold at this time of the year, but the Bobcats will see a ball club from Northern Illinois. That's improving. They lost to Kent State in overtime tonight, but, uh, yeah, they're pointed in the right direction. Yeah, they, they really are. seems like they're going to get northbound and, and get there soon. They certainly can stop any team in this league. It's scoring still an issue, but if they can keep the Bobcats in the 50s or low 60s, clearly they'll be in the game on Saturday. Well, I'll miss you uh, bringing my home to the folks here on the Ohio I IMG Sports Network, but we'll see if my mom can pack some meatloaf for me um, to bring back. Meatloaf, board. cookies are fine, but otherwise we'll see you guys next week. Yep, 71-51 the final score. We remind you our next broadcast does come up on Saturday night, 7.30 Eastern for a tip at 8 o'clock as Ohio takes on Northern Illinois on the Ohio IMG Sports Network. For the entire Bobcat TV team and for Rob C., I'm Russ Eisenstein, 71-51 the final. Cats get it done over Ball State. Good night from the Convo. This is Bobcat TV.